Okay, so for this one, it says Kylie bought a seven-year, five thousand par value with an annual pay. She bought the bond with no payment or discount, so that's the definition of par value. Cause it's the max duration of respectively the rate. Okay, well to put things in simpler terms, this is a par value bond. So whenever we see like a par value bond in relation to Mac D, we're just gonna simply use the um. MACD formula for par value bond, which is the annuity due of it. So what we're going to do is that we're going to do, um, it says a semi-annual coupon rate. So at seven years, so seven times two, 14, uh, 7.6 divided by two. 3.8 so now let's convert this we could get rid of this by multiplying it by 1.038 and we're going to solve The present value for this is 10.70. Now we're going to multiply it by this. So we're going to get 11.1066. Uh, Another thing is that this is a semi annual situation. So again, whenever not only do we uh, apply semi-annual to the number of years and the interest rate, but we also apply to the MACD. So we have to divide the MACD that we got by uh, two. And we end up getting 5.55, which is choice closest to choice C. So yeah, that is like the shortest way of doing it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the longer way. Hold on. So the longer way of doing it is just, you know, we want to, so it says, so basically it just looks of something like this. There's a 5,000 par value bond, seven years, so seven times two, so at 14 years, there's 5,000 that has to be paid out towards the end, 7.6 semi-annual coupon, so divide by two, so 0 0.03, so 5,000 times 0 0.038, it's going to be 190 on top of that as well. So in the MACD formula, we always do 190 times level annuity to the 3.8% plus the redemption of 5,000 times duration of 14 B to the 14th discount that too and then over regular discount amount of plus 5,000. So yeah, this is the normal present value situation and this is the revamped present value situation involving that D of multiplying by the duration at which each payment is occurring. For example, I have to multiply 5,000 at 14 because that's where it occurs at. And then you just solve the whole thing and then you'll manage to get the same answer.